Due to budget cuts for public broadcasting, we are unable to show the normally scheduled Calvary Kids show. Your replacement program is, hey kids! These are numbers featuring Miss Kayla and Miss Jennifer. Hey kids, I'm Miss Kayla. And, and I'm Miss Jennifer. And welcome to another episode of Hey Kids, These Are Numbers. We're the only show on public access that teaches numbers and nothing else. That's right. If you want to learn to read, go watch the show with that reading guy in it. If you want to count, there's a puppet for that. A puppet. That's right. What's his name? Uh, oh, we can't teach that anyway. Miss Kayla, what's our number for today? The number today is 40. 40? Wow, that's a big number. Tell me about it. 40 is the age of my car. You mean the battleship parked outside with the duct tape? Um, well, it's a classic, Miss Jennifer. Oh, right. Sorry I said anything. When I hear the number 40, I think of Noah. Noah? You mean the guy with the boat and animals? That's the one! That's the one. Hmm. Well, I thought he was way older than 40 when he built that floating zoo. Well, he was, but once he built the floating zoo and set sail, how many days did it rain? Hmm. Let me guess. 40? That's right. For 40 days and 40 nights, it rained. God flooded the whole sinful world so he could start over, but he didn't start over completely. Not at all. God loved us too much to completely start over. Mm -hmm. That's why he told Noah to build that ark so he and his family would be spared. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Which just goes to show you God's love never fails. Never! Never! Not at all! That's so cool. His love never fails. That is a great lesson for all of us. If this was a show that taught lessons. We, we don't teach lessons. Nope. Just numbers. That's right. Just numbers. And today's number is 40. Four, zero. 40 days of rain, 40 nights of rain. But God kept Noah and his family safe because his love never fails. Hey, hey, enough with the lesson, all right? That's all the time we have yeah. for this week. Join us next week for another episode of Hey Kids, These Are Numbers. La Reunion is a tiny island in the southern Indian Ocean controlled by the nation of France. This tiny island is home to a massive dormant volcano and less than a million people. It's also known for holding the world's record for the rainiest day ever recorded. In one 24-hour period, so one day, from January 7th to 8th, 1966, rain fell nonstop on one little town on La Reunion. What's remarkable is that even when the rain was nonstop, it was how much rain fell for 24 hours. 71.8 inches, that's almost six feet of water, taller than me, that fell in one tiny town. You would think it would have wiped it off the map because six feet of rain didn't fall on an entire island though, it just fell in one place. And that people in that tiny town suffered a lot of damage, but they were able to rebuild and move on from the flood. Floods happen in many parts of the world. But we've never seen a flood happen everywhere all at once. Not in our lifetime. Not for thousands of years. The Bible does tell us the story of a great flood that took place way back at the dawn of human time. The rainstorm that caused this flood lasted, what was today's number? That's right, 40 days. It rained for 40 days and nights without stopping, spreading enough water on the surface of the earth to flood the entire planet. A flood like that? would wipe out every person and living creature on land, but it didn't. The 40-day rainstorm is, in fact, a story of God's unfailing love. God gave one man advance notice of the flood and enough time not only to save his family, but all the animals that shared the earth with them. Take a look at our Bible story for today. We are talking about a man named Noah today. During Noah's lifetime, people were acting very wickedly, and this made God unhappy. It also made him sad because people seemed 
be thinking more about themselves than about God. Noah, however, was a good man. He loved and obeyed God, and God loved Noah very much. God told Noah to build an ark. A really big boat. So Noah followed God's plan and built an ark that was one and a half football fields long. That's a huge boat. Noah's neighbors laughed at him and uh, because they didn't live anywhere near water. But God told Noah that there was a great flood coming. Noah tried to warn the people to change their ways, but they didn't listen. God asked Noah to collect two of every creature and bring them into the ark. But he also told the animals to find Noah. So it wasn't hard to find them. Pairs of each animal were put safely inside the ark before it began to rain. Noah's wife, his three sons, and their wives were also safe on the boat. When everyone was on board, God shut the door. Once the rain started to fall, it covered the earth with water and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And after it stopped raining, the water continued to rise for 150 days. Even after the rain stopped, they had to stay on the ark for several months while the earth slowly dried out. After Noah, after that, Noah sent a dove outside and it didn't return. No one knew it had found a place to live on dry land and they could all get off the ark. All together, Noah and his family and the animals lived on the ark for one year, one month, and 27 days. After everyone had left the ark, Noah prayed to God to thank him for keeping them safe. Suddenly, a bright rainbow filled the sky. This was God's promise that he would never flood the earth again. All right, boys and girls, now comes the ultimate test. The test above all other tests. How well were you listening to your Bible story today? Give me a thumbs up if you think you were a great listener. But give me a sideways thumb if you kind of tuned in but might have missed a little. And give me a thumbs down if you can't even remember the person we were talking about today. I hope many of you had those big thumbs up so you can help me complete our questions today. There are five questions we have to answer correctly using the words on this board. Do you think we can do it? Let's try. All right, question number one. God told a man named blank to build an ark. Hmm, do you remember? Is it love, flood, Noah, two, or 40? If you said Noah, you were correct. God told a man named Noah to build an ark. Number two, God was going to blank the whole earth. What was he going to do to the earth? Hmm, love, flood, two, or 40. Shout out those answers for me. Oh, I think I heard some of you say flood. And if you said flood, you got it right. God was going to flood the whole earth. All right, number three. God told Noah to collect blank of every kind of animal. Hmm, how many animals was he supposed to get? Hmm, love, two, or 40. Was he supposed to get 40 animals? No, that's not right. Two, he was supposed to get two of every kind of animal. We're doing great so far. Two more questions left. Number four, when it started to rain, it rained nonstop for blank days. How many days was it again? Let's see if our words can help us. Love or 40? Well, that one's easy because there's only one number left. 40. That's right. When it started to rain, it rained nonstop for 40 days. And the last question, Noah's story teaches us that while people fail, God's blank never fails. What was that again? Love, I hope you got that one right. God's love never fails. All right, you guys did a great job with our lesson today. Hi, 
are you guys ready for your memory verse today? Okay, so today's memory verse is from Deuteronomy 31.8. Say that with us. Deuteronomy 31.8. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord will personally go ahead of you. For the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will be with you. He will never fail you nor abandon you. He will never fail you nor abandon you. Okay, so for the first, what we're going to do today is I want you to repeat after me. I'm going to say it normal, but I want you guys to say it like you're underwater. Okay? You guys do it at home too, okay? So to say it underwater, you're going to do those little, 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 and say it underwater. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. Deuteronomy 31.8. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you. Fail, nor abandon you. No okay, we got one down. This time, I want you to repeat after me. I'm going to say it normal, but I want you guys to say it slow. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. Deuteronomy 31.8. Be afraid or discouraged. <laughs> For the Lord, Lord will personally. Go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you. He will fail you. Nor abandon you. Nor abandon you. Okay, last challenge. You guys ready for this one? Okay, that one is really slow. This time, can you guys go? Speedy fast. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you guys ready to do it at home too? All right, here we go. I'm gonna say it normal. You repeat after me. Speedy fast. Ready? Deuteronomy 31 8. Deuteronomy 31 8. That was fast. Do not be afraid or do discouraged. Not be afraid. Do not be afraid, do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord will personally, For the Lord will personally go ahead of you. Go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will, he will be with you. He will neither. Fail you? He will He'll be neither fail you, you nor abandon you. Nor abandon you. you. Great job. Great job. Great job. All right, so we're going to send it over to Pastor Lindsay to wrap up our lesson today. We hope you guys had fun doing the memory verse today. 40 is hardly the only number involved in Noah's story. Let's do a quick list of all the numbers. Noah was over 500 years old when he started building the ark, and 600 years old when it started to rain. The ark was to be 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. Noah was to bring along two of almost every kind of animal. In a few special cases, he had to bring seven pairs of smaller animals. There were eight people on the ark that we know of. Noah and his wife, his three sons, and their three wives. It took more than 100 years to build the ark, and after the flood subsided, it took another 110 days before the waters receded enough to leave the ark. Noah, his family, and the animals were all on board that boat for 150 days, almost five months times. It was crowded, it was smelly. It could not have been a fun time. Nevertheless, Noah and his family knew they were blessed to be in the ark and not outside of the ship. In spite of all the wickedness in the world, God still loved mankind. He loved Noah and his family and he used them to start over. We see flooding all the time in the world, but we will never see another flood like the one that fell in Noah's time. 
the rainbow we see after a storm are a reminder of God's promise. God's love never fails. And when we need love, we can count on the same God who saved Noah to be there for us. Storms will come and go. So will our sunny days. But the 40 days of rain Noah and his family endured remind us that God's love never, ever fails. God will never fail you. He loves you, and he will always be there when you need him. As we wrap up today, we want you to all stand up and join us for worship as we are reminded through praise and worship of this truth.